Want to see something cool? When you're working with three-phase power, reversing the position of any two phases will make your motor spin the other direction. This makes reversing drives in a three-phase system way easier than single phase. Which is awesome, so long as it's intentional. But when it's done by accident, that's how you get expensive sounds in the running, in the yelling, in the fire trucks. We call the arrangement of the wires phasing. Phrasing? Phasing. We're still doing phrasing though, right? And if you get it wrong and the device is wired to spin backwards, we call that reverse phasing. Reverse phrasing. Now that opens up all kinds of fun possibilities. Remember when I showed you the old analog power meter and you learned that it worked like a shaded pull motor? Check out! This fucking thing. Same idea, but now our rotor is vertical and perched on top, we have a mercury switch. My buddy Ludwig over in Quebec sent this in, and I had to share it with you. This is a reverse phase relay, and it demonstrates deviance and directionality. It's a little shaded pull motor, just like our old meter. As long as it's spinning forwards, the mercury stays out at the tip and nothing happens. But if you get your wires crossed and spin it backwards, the motor moves the other way and tips the drip into the contacts, closing the circuit out here. There's a million applications for this, and I love the elegance of the solution. This this one here came out of an old elevator. With just a couple coils and a slice of aluminum pie, you've got a rock-reliable solution for showing phase direction, and that's pretty cool. 